Attention, download and or distribute. Okay, don't let me read it. The, all the characters in this game are anime. Okay. <laughs> uh, style right off the bat. Hey guys, we're right in here and welcome to the Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony demo version. That's a mouthful. Um, as you guys have known, I promised this LP for a long time, probably for about half a year now. And I saw that this demo came out. And you guys told me that it's a mock case, so it does not spoil anything about the game. I will not be spoiling anything about the past games here. In the actual series, I will, but not here. And uh, if you are planning on watching the Danganronpa V3 series, as a YouTuber, remember, I'm saying this as a YouTuber who wants views, play the other games before you watch that series. This video is safe. This video contains no spoilers. Everything in it is like a mock fake case, and you're free to watch just to see what the game is like. Without further ado, let us begin. I am so excited, you guys don't even know. <laughs> you guys don't even know. Please select which voice language you want to use. English, please. <laughs> as good as I'm sure the Japanese voice acting is, I'll go with English this time. In this demo, you may start by exploring the school or skip ahead to the class trial. During the class trial, the evidence you gather while exploring will be presented as you debate. If this is your first time, it's strongly recommended that you start from the beginning. Where would you like to start playing? Uh, you know what, let's just do it straight from the beginning. I know how to play Danganronpa. Ooh. Team Danganronpa. Okay, come on. Please. Okay, so I know nothing about any of the characters in here, but I saw a lot of their designs, and I'm very happy with all of them. Except for one. They all look really cool. I'm so excited to play this game. You guys don't even know. It's so stylish, too. All the design elements are really well done. They know what they're doing. I mean, I'd hope by the third game they knew what they were doing. <laughs> it's gonna suck if they got to Dong and Ropa V3 and they're like, you know what, let's just go back to the Game Boy Advance. Best idea. I have no idea about anything about this except for the past two games, so. And another episode, which I played just recently. Guys, this is too much. The amount of emphasis and design and art and all these moving images. Christ. Yeah, first female pro tag. Well, I guess if you don't count. <laughs> Another episode, but that that doesn't count. I guess I should start by introducing myself. My name is Kaide Akamatsu. Oh, that's a female. Okay, gotta do female voice then. My last name roughly means passionate red maple tree. That's... odd. <laughs> it doesn't really fit me, but I still like my last name. Huh? Wait, who am I even talking to? I was walking my usual route to school when... Huh? Why is it so dark? Huh? Does her com Wait, does her desk have a keyboard on it? Huh? Huh? Where am I? Is this... a classroom? Yeah, it's a classroom, alright, but I don't recognize it at all. Oh, she stopped voice acting? That was a weird time to stop. Why was I sleeping Hello? here? Are you awake? Good morning, Kaede. I just realized I had my volume on super low and I couldn't hear them talking. What? You're just... You're just huh? there? Why are you just... Nike, why are you just there? <laughs> I'm so confused. You just start the game. He's like, hi, I'm here. <laughs> huh? Who are you? How do you know my name? Do we know each other? I don't remember you, though. <laughs> don't worry. We're only part of the tutorial. Oh, sorry if I scared you. Let me introduce my myself. My name is Okay. 
The ultimate lucky student. Ultimate lucky student? Yeah, I'm a student at this academy. Every year they choose one student in the whole on the whole country by lottery. And they attend this academy as the ultimate lucky student. Only one student in the entire country? That's amazing. You must be really lucky. No, no, trust me, I'm not. My life is shit. <laughs> oh, I do like this. Here you can go back and uh see the past text. I know that was in the old games, but Huh, I didn't know luck could be considered an ultimate talent. <laughs> I guess. And I suppose I'm your upperclassman. Yeah. Nice to meet you again, Ultimate Pianist. Oh, really? Main character is Ultimate Pianist. That really makes me kind of wonder how any of her abilities will tie into the story at all. What? You're my upperclassman? Oh, I'm very sorry, Mr. Makoto. I thought... <laughs> hey, don't worry about that. No need for the mister. Huh? Wait, now that I think about it, I haven't even introduced myself yet. How did you know I was the Ultimate Pianist? Kaede Akamatsu, ultimate pianist. Gonna piano you to death. Oh, information about the new students is public record. I just looked at that. I know what you do at night. I know where you sleep. Um. Uh, that's, that's great. New students? I already attend a high school, though. Hey, Makoto, where are we? What is this academy? Hey. It's best to just show you. Could you try checking that desk? The desk? Hey there, I'm I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Well, I can explain that, but I can give a base I can't explain that, but I can give a basic explanation to the controls. Use the L strike to control the screen. Wow, I'm good at speaking. When you have a target in your sights, press the X button to investigate it. I've got you in my sights. The R stick controls your view. Get a good look at your surroundings. You can also press the R1 button to smack objects around. Smack Nike! Who knows? You might find something amazing. You can always press the L1 button to return objects to their original position, so relax. However, not every object is able to be moved. Thank you for understanding. If you press the triangle button, the mysterious investigative power will activate. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information. But if you forget anything, you can click the options button to view the controls. Investigate this place thoroughly. That's how you progress through the story, you know. Thank you, magical voice in the sky. Oh, wow, it's really, uh... Damn, this game looks good. It looks really good. I can't get over that. Okay. Let's just look around the classroom before we talk to Nagi. Who I am sure at this point is not real. It's just an ordinary locker. I don't know what else to expect from a locker. <laughs> Astute observation. Miss Kaide. Is this a monitor? Nothing's on display. This definitely does not feel like a school. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't. Oh, I can look at the ceiling. It said I can move things around. Review the layout of the academy. This will help you find specific locations. I am not even... When this game comes out, I am not even gonna bother with the Monokuma voice. Screw that. I don't want to wreck my voice. He's getting, like, the Devdon voice or something. <laughs> I don't think I could even attempt to mimic it, honestly. Report cards, huh? Oh, good. I'm glad I know her chest size. Rather large. Height 5'8". Oh, she's pretty tall. I guess normal. Weight 117 pounds. Born March 26. Likes piano keys. Dislikes bicycles. I can't wait for the final revelation of the game to be like, My whole family was killed by bicycles. No, it's Ultimate Pianist. Oh, I can take a look at everyone here. Oh, man. I'd like to go through them all, but let's, uh, let's just look around for a bit. I forgot the controls, honestly. It told me I could smack things and I could, like, pick things up and tip them over or whatever. And certain objects glow, but she doesn't seem to interact with them any differently. I was resting my head on this desk when I, w when I woke up. Ew. I drilled on it. I need to clean that later, so on this desk there's a letter? If you want to progress the story, come to the gym. But please be careful, there are other people wandering around. If you talk to them, you'll end up having to listen to their introductions. Deja vu. I've been, I've just been in this place before, or sorry, there's no time for that right now. Anyway, come to the gym. Seriously, please. Seriously, please? What do you mean by please? I feel like this is a prank. But I wonder what's at the gym and who are those, uh, who are these other people? I checked my desk like I was told, but I'm even more confused now. Hey. Hey, Makoto, does this mean that there are other people in the academy besides us? 
You weren't the only new student. All 14 people are here. Wait, how do you how do you run an entire school with 14 reaction voice? Oh, what is this? You can have her react? That's cool. Just confirm. Friendly and hostile. You don't get it. <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> what, what what do you mean? I, I know what's going on at the school. No, that's wrong. Sorry. What? No. <laughs> oh, I can just pull up the voice anytime. That's wrong. Oh yeah, I was waiting to be able to do that. <laughs> it might be a good it might be it might be a good it might be good to greet everyone before we head over to the gym. Of course, if you wanted to, you could go straight there. It's yeah. up to you. Uh okay, I I get it. Wait, I'm a new student? What does that mean? Why is this happening? The hell is this academy? <laughs> I don't know, Kaide. You can leave the room by pressing the circle button. No, I want to look at things more. Is this a remix of a... Uh... Oh, it's totally... It's kind of a remix of one of the songs from DR2. Cool. Can I pick this up? No. Whoa. Holy shit, she has some monster strength. <laughs> I guess playing piano has its merits. Oh, I can't slap Nagi. I was so excited. You aren't the only new student. Blah, 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 blah. Same thing I've said. <laughs> Gather around, everybody. This is a demo. Is this the blackboard? It's not weird to see a blackboard in school. This blackboard is also an LCD screen. That's something you don't see every day. Wait, what? Oh, is, how? What time frame does this game appear in? I can see moss outside the window, but there's barbed wire on them. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? You know, budget cuts. Oh, I, I guess I understand. <laughs> All right, let's just leave. I have nothing else to do here. Even looking around the room and slapping things. There's only so much I can do. What was that? Was I carrying something? Oh, it said I had to... Oh, there we go. We're leaving. Holy shit, everything is so stylish. People! Friendship! Hi, friends. Would you like to talk to me? You can move through the hallway using the L stick. If you hold down L1, the L1 button while moving, you can run. You can also look around with the R stick. Pressing the triangle button will bring up a large map. What a convenient world this has become. <laughs> well then, off you go. Find your classmates. Ooh. Oh, wow. I'm so I'm so excited and impressed and happy. <laughs> you guys don't know. There's another classroom over here. Then what's this? Well, let's talk to Mosshead over here. Hello, edgy Oscar. Oh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? Well, you both look all right. That's good. Situation could be better, though. Yeah, totally. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? I don't really remember, but maybe Makoto knows? He seems to be a student of the Academy, too. Oh, is that right? No. Yes, but he- Ah, oh, how'd you even get out of here? I, I just walked through the door. <laughs> yes, but even I don't fully understand how I got here. Huh, really? So you don't remember how you got there either? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Everyone? I asked the others too. They all said they don't remember. So the others don't remember either. It's like we all have amnesia or something. Right? Amnesia. That's never been done before. Amnesia. I guess so. Wait, Amnesia's a stretch. We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. No. Sure, could be group hypnosis. Maybe brainwashing. <laughs> in any case, I hope we remember soon. Otherwise, I'll end up an outcast. <laughs> the outcast? What do you mean? To tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. What? Phew, I'm in trouble. I know, I must be some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Is, is that true? Yeah. Of course it is, but then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. I never told you my name, did I? My name is Rontaro Amami. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment, 
But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. Oh, I didn't realize he was talking. I'm sorry. I need to turn the music down. I love the music a lot, but they're so quiet. <laughs> oh, Makoto, you saw the document about the incoming freshman, didn't you? Did you happen to see what Rontaro's talent is? Well, in the document I received, it didn't say anything about Rontaro. Huh, really? Huh, then maybe I'm here by mistake. To be honest, I don't remember anything about being a freshman either. No, that's not true. You're an ultimate student, without a doubt. Hmm, you sound awfully sure. Well, it's not so strange that you weren't on the document. That only contained public information. Some ultimates don't want their talents known so openly. I wouldn't worry about it. One day your talent will become clear. Haha, uh -huh. well, I'll take it. For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talents? Huh? Oh, is he a mind reader or some shit? Because she just... I, I highly doubt that, but still. You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. Oh, by the way, no spoilers in the comment section. No spoilers in the entire LP. If you put down a spoiler, I will be very disappointed in you. Like a father is disappointed in his son. Or something. <laughs> anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along. Why, we aren't going anywhere for a while. Stop that. We'll escape soon, pouty face! You, th you th really think it's gonna be that easy? What do you mean? Oh, why is your face so grim, dude? You just changed complexion entirely. Nothing, just a feeling. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, alright? Yeah, don't worry about it. See you later. I thought he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to. I have no idea what's going through his head right now, though. Murder, 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 murder. <laughs> okay, well, I guess let's talk to... Whoa. What's up, dude, guy? Oh my goodness, this place is gigantic. This demo's gonna take a while to get through. This demo's gonna take a long while. <laughs> That's fine, though. I'm very happy it's gonna last a while. I normally don't do three LPs at once, but hey, I'm willing. Whoa, this big guy looks so scary, so big and muscular. Um, um excuse me? Huh? <laughs> thank you. He has such a normal voice. Thank you! Huh? Huh? Why, thank sorry. you. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry for scaring you. Um... Uh, Gonta, scary looking. Most people don't want to... Most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for first time. He talks in third person. That's, uh... You know what? It could be worse. Gonta, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, he talks like a caveman. So Gonta, like gentlemen. Gonta, say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Yeah. Um, thank you for being so polite. <laughs> he looks scary, but he doesn't seem all that scary at all. Oh, right! Gonta need to make introduction! Um, Gonta's, um, Gonta's name is Gonta... Gonta oh, he's talking. Uh, Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Ultimate entomologist? Gonta to become gentleman. Becoming true gentleman, Gonta's goal. <laughs> oh, I'm happy for you, then. Can I get to the options menu so I can turn down the volume a little bit on the sound? I can't hear people talking. I do love the sound effects, but... I could just turn the rest of everything up. Oh god. Gonta want to become gentleman. Becoming true gentleman, Gonta's goal. Gonta Gokuhara, ultimate ento entomologist. Oh, so you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. R really? Thank you. <laughs> Aw, you're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being scared at first. Oh, does she have little music note hairpins? I wish I had long hair. I, could, I would wear those all the time. I see, because Gonta's scary looking, right? Oh, sorry, that's not what I... No, No, it's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called scary since he was a kid. That's right. You're right, you're scary. Right. <laughs> since you're a kid, huh? By the way, you said you're an entomologist, right? What's... I mean... You like bugs too? Huh? Huh, bugs, well... Uh, you hate bugs! Oh, God! <laughs> that was immediate... Zero to a hundred? Chill out. I, I don't kill bugs. I rather like them. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> but how? You you hate bugs? Uh, <laughs> no, no, of course not. I don't hate them. I love them. Thank goodness. Oh, okay, that good. No bad person likes uh, bugs. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're you're right. 
Even if you didn't like bugs, I wouldn't want to break that news to Gonza. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really like bugs, but wait, is he just following us down the hallway and not saying anything? To be honest, I don't really like bugs, but I should keep that a secret. <laughs> we'll see you later, dude. Oh, I can't use the scan thing while I'm in here. Okay, fine by me. There's so much to do. This is going to take several episodes. Another episode, in fact. I'm sorry, you can unsubscribe, but not from me, from someone else. <laughs> I'm having way too much. If you guys can't tell, I'm having too much fun. Like, a ridiculous amount. What the... Uh... Hi. I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to her first. You just stare at me from the background. Yaha! Oh god. Yaha, how are ya? Oh my god, I really do that voice. I'm the ultimate artist. I'm surprised we didn't run into the ultimate artist much sooner in the series. Shh, <laughs> her face. The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh, she certainly is devout. Um, do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh, uh, I do both. I draw things and I sculpt, sculpt, I sculpt sculptures. But Atua is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. So divine. Yeah, how divine! <laughs> I see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Oh, she's so cute. I, I feel bad whenever I say a character's like a cute, like a cute character or really cool. Cause I know I'm gonna play the game. It's like, no, they're a vicious super psycho murderer. <laughs> of course, of course. In return, will you make an offering? An offering? Every Monday and Wednesday mornings I, on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I mean a pint or two of your blood. D don't worry, a pint? That's a lot of blood. Sorry. Um, I'm an anemic, so I'll pass. I don't know if she's friendly or not, but she's not easy to approach. Wow, she didn't really want to talk much. Yeah when your anemia clears up, come make an offering. I'll show you my artwork, okay? Is she serious about the whole offering thing? <laughs> well, you're a neat one to talk to. Well, let's, let's, uh, let's get the elephant in the room. Hi, Hajime. <laughs> what happened to your eyes? You know, I'm not going to spoil it. Never mind. <laughs> I, I'm trying to do this spoiler free entirely, at least for the demo. <laughs> I wonder if that person's the ultimate student. I should go ask. Oh, hey. Hey, wait. Oh, hmm? Oh, hey, Makoto. Okay. Something wrong? Yeah. Hajime, this is K Kaide Akamatsu, the ultimate pianist. He's also your upperclassman, Kaide. Oh, he's another upperclassman. I better turn on the charm, then. Um, I'm Kaide Akamatsu. Nice to meet you, sir. Oh, God, his voice is so high. My name is Hajime Hinata. I'm a grade ahead of you, but... Oh, he already said that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying super hard not to talk over everything. You're, you think you're a grade ahead? What do you mean by that? Well, I don't really have an ultimate talent, just like the rest of you here. Huh? You're not an ultimate? Well, Hajime, we have a seniority, but he's the protagonist this time around. Or she's the protagonist this time around. Protagonist? Oh, well, if that's the case, then I guess you are an underclassman of mine. Feel free to talk to me if you've got any problems, Kaide, because you're about to go through hell, like the both of us did. Good luck. Um, thank you very much. I thought only ultimate students were gathered here, but I guess it's not the case. And also, what did they mean by protagonist? Don't worry, this game will uncomfortably break the fourth wall. I, I still can't get over the fact that Nagi's just talking to Hajime. <laughs> like, casually, like, yo, what up? Remember torture hell? I do too. I guess I better look at whatever this thing- Oh, it's another school monitor. It's a monitor for communicating with us, but there's nothing displayed right now. I wonder if these monitors have been installed all over the school. I wouldn't know. I really wouldn't. Need to look at the map again. So that's a classroom we came out of, and this is another room, but I don't... That looks like a class trial room, if anything. So I'm not gonna touch that for now. There's a sports gym over there, and a women's and men's restroom. Which I'm sure someone will die in. 
Oh, hey there, Mr. Uh, emo Imperial Swag Cap. Hey. Hey, are you a freshman in this academy too? Okay. Uh, uh, yes, I don't remember much, but it appears that is the case. Which means you have an ultimate talent as well, right? I'm Shuichi Saihara. They call me the ultimate detective, but... I feel like this music is way too loud. It may just be because I'm wearing, uh, earphones and the audio is kind of split, but I think the music is too loud. <laughs> huh? Huh? What? You're a detective? That's amazing! No. Uh, no, I don't have my credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that came across, and now people call me that. Not many people just happen to solve a case. You should be proud of that. Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, my name is Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you, Sh Shuichi. Suichi? Shuichi. 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 Just, just get my name right. Uh, uh... Yes, nice to meet you too. A detective, huh? He doesn't look that reliable, but maybe I can talk to him if I have a problem. If anyone ever gets murdered. Uh, um... I don't even remember enrolling in this academy, but it seems I did. What could we be dealing with here? You have no idea, son. You have no idea. That the thing just moved. I I'll just wait here. I feel like I made this situation awkward. I'll go in with you, as I am comfortable doing. Oh, there's a girl in here. Hi, girl lady. There's not much to look at around here. Still slap things, though. No. Break everything. Destroy. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let's talk to this lady. Hey. What's with your eyes? I see you're some sort of inventor. Your eyes are almost kind of shaped like cogs, too. Hey, what are you looking for? Okay. That. <laughs> well, that, um, that went south quickly. Don't sneak up on me, bitch. I literally just met you. You've already called me a bitch. Hey. Hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Who are you anyway? Huh? Seriously? You don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. Is that so? I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mui Ruma! Okay, ultimate inventor. I was right, I saw this design before and I kind of guessed that. Um, I've never heard of you. So what kind of things do you invent? I make all kinds of gadgets. All right. Sorry, I'm doing this again. I'm gonna turn down the volume once again. I just don't wanna make the whole video and no one can hear the voice acting, you know? I make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you sleep, read while you sleep. Even the ones that let you eat while you sleep. Why does everything involve sleeping? Sure. I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. Thank you, this girl gets me. Sleep is the worst. If I, if I had a choice to never be able to sleep, I might take it. I might just take it. <laughs> Though, this one time I invented these really stupid eyedrop contact lenses as a gag. Huh? Wait, really? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. <laughs> Shh, your friends sound like total plebs. <laughs> that invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure, just like you. I signed the patent rights over some company and never looked back. Hey, that seems like a waste. It's way better than your do-stuff-while-sleeping inventions. <laughs> I understand you as an artist, girl. You create, but the things that you create aren't what people want. Unless you got something worth saying, just keep your fucking bitch mouth shut. I think that is the most you've ever heard me curse on the channel before. Th thanks for waiting, Mikoto. I went in there and some girl tried to kill me and make it die while I eat invention. No problem, shall we? Time for the men's restroom. This is the boys' bathroom, right? I can't, I can't go in there. Well, thank you for applying common sense, missus. Uh, where to now? Okay, there's like a Metal Gear assassin over there with a Persona 3 armband. 
I'll ignore that for now. Oh, there's a lady over there. All right, well, take a look at the map real quick. Food, food, food. There's food in there. There's a box in there. Let's talk to you. What is it? Oh, you have a suave voice. What is it? <laughs> I love that. You wonder, who is this? Yes, I shall make it that clear first. My name is Karekio Shinguji. I am called the ultimate anthropologist. Ooh. Karekio? Karek Karek Ant anthropologist? Oh. Please call me Kyo as for an, as for anthropology. Would you like a simple explanation? Okay, sure. I'm dumb. I don't know. Anthropology is Anthropology is studies, customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. There may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, That's though. Correct. Well, of course. It's fun. It's a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. Oh, he's, so <laughs> he's just getting off on explanations now. <laughs> Would you like to know how the RBGA system works? Oh, it's so, it's so wonderful. Uh, what, uh, are you okay? <laughs> I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Huh? huh? I... I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. <laughs> I love this dude. <laughs> People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep, and it turns out he is one, too. <laughs> I'm gonna hang out with you all the time. I am very interested to see what manner of beauty I will be able to observe here. <laughs> Thank you, I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> Look at all this overgrown... I don't think I could stand to live in a place where just leaves are creeping inside and such. I don't know if this game's gonna pull... I'm not gonna... Once again, I'm not gonna spoil anything. It's just gonna be doing a basic, easy walkthrough of what the game's like. Oh, wow, look at this place. So fancy. Looks like an underwater submarine. Holy shit, there's a lot of people in here. Does this girl have a leaf on her head? This guy looks kind of generic. And, uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Alrighty, then. Let's see what we can examine. Rules! This looks like the rules for the dining hall. Dining hall rules? Feel free to eat anything you like. Clean up after yourself. The dining hall is locked down at nighttime. Nighttime, so it's closed at night? This door is blocked by barbed wire. The same goes for the classroom windows. Don't tell me all the exits are blocked. No, that's a pattern. Unless Monokuma forgets something, which sadly he usually does not. How come I can't look at this? Can I hit it? Now let's talk to you first. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary oh. of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. Wait, you're the ultimate astronaut? How do you even be the ultimate astronaut? I went to space in the astronaut arena and killed all the other astronauts with astro magic. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? It, yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> well of course, not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. I see, so you're still a trainee. But I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? huh? Then how did you get to take the exam? So... I had a friend who was crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. Oh, That's illegal! <laughs> yeah. yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was some pretty deep shit. <laughs> But the people up top let me in, since I did so well on the exam. That, that's reckless. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. No way I can wait until after college. I want to get to space as fast as I can. He's sure energetic. Yeah, space dude, you're pretty cool. But now I'm thinking, but now I'm thinking about it, why am I at this academy? Is this space academy? I want to blast off into space ASAP. Weird situations like this are only going to slow me down. 
You're gonna have a fun execution, aren't you? Tenko Chabashira. <laughs> oh god, ultimate martial artist, are we? No, well, I guess we already had something similar to that in DR1, so... I just prepared for combat at all- I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. I will protect myself with Neo Akito! Huh? Akito, then you're... Oh, yes! Oh, I'm Tango Chabashira! Hyuk! The ultimate Aikido master! I don't know what Aikido is, to be honest. I've done several martial arts in my life, but I don't know what that is. Oh, I always imagined Aikido masters to be huge, burly guys, but you're so cute! C cute <laughs> uh, st stop it! I I'm not cute! My face wrinkles when I s suck down a shake, and when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Um, I see, but I think you're cute, right, Makoto? Well, uh, uh, I, I hope Kirigiri is staring at me. <laughs> Just steer through the window with a knife. Whoa. Um. Well then, I'm not gonna. Were cute two seconds ago. Don't answer that. Oh, what, what's the matter? Your face just went blank all of a sudden. I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. Degenerate males? You mean, are you uncomfortable yes. around them? It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerates tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. <laughs> You're right, that is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. By the way, what is this Neo Aikido you That's mentioned? Right. Neo Aikido is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So your Akito is all self-taught. I don't think this place is safe! I must be prepared for combat at all times just in case someone tries to attack me. You already said that. Nagi, why are you just standing in this room, like, freaking out? <laughs> huh, these are all new students, just like you, Kaide. Why don't you say hi? I'll say what I want. When I want. Prepared. Oh, what? I didn't mean to skip all that. I'm sorry. I was holding down X. I didn't think it would keep going. These are old new students, just like you, Kaede. Why don't you say hi? Prepare to be amazed. Follow your knees. I'm the ultimate mage. Just a straight-up mage? <laughs> Everyone's like, okay. But I'm but. officially called the ultimate magician. Oh, that's nice to know. I see. Oh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. Mm. I mean, it does. It makes sense, though, since magic doesn't exist. Mm. Yeah, magic does exist. Huh? huh? Because I'm a mage. Um. Uh, you're a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I'm actually a mage. Huh? <laughs> just, just a ruse. A group trying to hide magic's existence from the world labeled my magic as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. But I, I'm not a magician, I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. I don't believe you. You look, I mean, you look the part, but still. There, there, don't be sad. Well, well could you show us your magic? Then we would believe you. Oh, that's right. Help us out with your magic. Take us back to when we originally... Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much. I I see. Then what can All you do? Right. I can choose the card you pick, pull out coins, and release doves. <laughs> yeah, if I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Those are just ordinary magic tricks. <laughs> well, I hope in game she actually does something that makes us think it's magic. Oh, whoa! I could just go over here. Nothing I can look at. I can slap things, though. Well, I guess that's all for this room. Yes, I would like to leave. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting seeing all these characters and seeing what they are. I've been looking at their designs for so long, like, what the hell are you? And not spoiling myself. I am so happy I was not spoiled. I am so happy. Hey! Oh, whoa, dude, what's with you? <laughs> hey, wait for me! Please stop! Please stop! Do not come closer! <laughs> Are you a robot? Do not come closer, human! That boy in white is chasing that other boy in, fu in the funny clothes. What is happening here? <laughs> oh, what room is this? I guess this is the 
box room in the school? I don't know. Storage. Let's talk to K1 first. Please stop. Kibo, I guess his name is. Please stop. Don't come any closer. <laughs> uh, wait up. I just want to touch your robot parts. Doesn't matter where. Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? What a robot. What is it? What is it? Are you another robophobe? <laughs> That's enough. I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I'll see you in court. <laughs> Wait, you're a robot? Are you for real as a robot? Please stop! I'm not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kiba. Wait, how does the ultimate robot even get in here, but he can't break out of the school? If you're the ultimate robot, you could defeat Metal Gear and get us out of the school. Your title is a lie. An ultimate robot that does not have nuclear missiles or miniguns is not the ultimate robot. Hmm. That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I want to choose myself, too. Oh, um, go ahead. I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. I can see this causing a problem. <laughs> a robot and supreme leader. Neither of them make any sense. By the way, by the way, I learned that, uh, I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. I was just in here drinking gasoline when Robot Boy was disturbing me. Let me drink gasoline in peace. How rude. My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh God, what's your voice? You're not funny. Right? Uh, of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me. Do not mock me. I've studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying um. it. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am in high school, but I'm a high school student just like you. You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by Professor Itabashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed in me a strong AI capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But, but the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things until finally he enrolled me in high school. This? And see, I stand here before you all. See, I'm just like everyone else. That might you be might true, be but, right, but you're not you're not hey. human. Hey, do robots have dicks? <laughs> Please do not ask ridiculous questions. And yes, I do. It is magnum-sized. <laughs> oh, God, I hate that so much. I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. I mean, just being a robot is probably enough to claim the title of Ultimate Robot. <laughs> hey, uh, Kokichi, I don't really understand your Ultimate Supreme Leader talent. Oh, I'm just the art Supreme Leader of, a c of an evil secret organization, that's all. What? I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. I think this guy is my favorite ultimate talent so far. I haven't even seen him use it, but being the ultimate leader would be my choice of talents. Huh? Seriously? The supreme leader of an evil, of an evil secret organization? Because I'm a liar. Who knows? Because I'm a liar, after what? all. Huh? So you're lying just it's now? True. Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil uh, secret organization. That part was true. Please. So are you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Ultimate Supreme Leader, huh? This is the first time I met anyone with a talent like That's yours. Right. Oh yeah, you saw the documents about all the incoming freshmen, right, Makoto? Do you not know if Ko Kokichi is telling the truth or not? No. Well, the information on that document may not be complete. <laughs> you have no idea how many crazy things I've done, do you? It's true. If you knew, my subordinates would have eliminated you a long time ago, Makoto. Please. Hey, everything he said so far has sounded like a lie, so it's got to be a lie too, right? Oh dear. Leave him alone. Everything he says, he's been saying it's been a lie. He's far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> well, of course you're not a suspicious person because robots aren't people, silly. <laughs> Just as insulted to be an I guess in one sentence. <laughs> Are, you mad? Are you mad? Are you gonna hit me with a rocket or punch? <laughs> I can't. I don't have that function. How are you the ultimate rogue? You're a failure, that's all you are. Get back in the box, you're defective. Oh man, you're boring. What a weird guy. He's like a mischievous little kid. 
This is no time to be joking around unless he's really an evil supreme leader. Okay then, well. I'm starting to think that this guy might be the ultimate liar or something. That might be his true talent. I don't know. It's just a guess so far. All right. Well, I'm actually going to end this episode here. I think this demo is probably going to be split into two or three parts. I don't think it's super long, but I'm really taking my time and examining everything and enjoying everything. This will also give me a chance to review the sound settings because I can't really tell. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are excited for the actual release of DRV3, and I hope a lot of you guys are into it because if you can't tell, I think this is the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> LP. It's it's just so goofy and out there and the dialogue so fun. Anyways, if you like the video, please leave a like, and if you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Riding out.